Hey everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com with our first look at the new lock screen widgets on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. So we just got this updated onto our Nexus 4 here and let's walk you through it. So the first thing you see here is the clock widget. This is on here automatically and it shows the world clock uh, settings that we've done previously, right? We've showed you this in another post. So uh, open it back up and the other big change here is in the way that you get to the camera app <laughs> and instead of doing it in the lock screen unlock app you just swipe to that side there and it takes you automatically to the camera app. So that's actually kind of a big deal, right? Uh, kind of drastically changes the way you get to it. It's not difficult, it's just different, right? So go to the left and here's where you can start adding your own widgets and the plus button so you can add. So we have calendar through a whole bunch of different things. Uh, calendar. Oh, Get out of the way. Calendar, digital clock, Gmail, messaging, and sound search. And those are the only ones here by default, uh, though different uh, app developers will be able to add them later. So here's the calendar widget. And it's kind of odd. So you add it there, and you're not quite sure what to do, actually, at first. I'll turn it on and off, and now it shows up full screen, which is a little weird, but whatever. Uh, you can scroll through it, and scrolling is quite smooth and, and not bad. So I like that a lot. So up and down, and you can tap to go in. Google Now still works. You get to it from uh, the bottom button there. And you can actually rearrange them as well. And here's how you get rid of it. So you can pull it up to remove, and you can move it. So actually, just like a normal widget, it just happens to be in the lock screen. So that's how you get rid of one. Uh, let's add a new one now. How about we'll do, we've already got the digital clock. How about Gmail? So you have to pick which account you want if you have more than one account. I'll pick my personal Gmail, and here you can pick the label as well. So let's just do, how about inbox, just to make it easy, but you have plenty of choices there. Again, it shows up small like that, and I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, but, see, so watch this, you can pull it down, and nothing's there. It's a little weird. I don't know if that's buggy, if that's the way that's supposed to do it. But, uh, you know, power down and power back on, and it shows up just fine, right? And now you can open up an email, and there's your inbox, and you can tap, and it opens things right up the way it's supposed to. And here are the last couple widgets. So there's the text messaging widget, and you can read text messages and the phone numbers they came from. Interesting. And here's the song search. So you can remove these at your leisure, move them around, all that good stuff. So what if you're using a security code? So this is the big question about this, right? How does it work? Uh, I've put on the little pattern security code here, and you see it pops up right away. If you go to add a new widget, it also asks you for it, so you can't just add a Gmail or text messaging widget without having that code, and that's a good thing. You can, however, <laughs> launch the camera app, which is interesting, but it also means you can do it quickly, and that's good. Uh, but if you end up with pictures of somebody's butt and you don't know whose it is, well, now you know why, right? <laughs> but there's the uh, pattern unlock. Same thing kind of goes for the uh, numerical pin unlock and also for passwords, right? So type it in, and it will unlock the phone or you also have to type it in to add a widget. And that's a good thing. That is good security, right? So what about if you have uh, already added a widget, though? What do you have to do then? That is the big question, because if it's already there, is somebody going to read what's on the widget before you unlock? So let's find out. So there is our pin unlock. And let's add, we have to unlock here, one, two, three, four. Let's add a widget and say we'll add Gmail, because that's kind of the big one for me, right? That's my use email all the time inbox and so now it's added so what happens we'll unlock here and get rid of that and so let's go back to zero and turn on the phone and let's see and ooh we can read email headers we can read subject lines and kind of the the first sentence or so and that's interesting and not really good and same thing goes for text messages right that's a bit of a security concern so you're going to have to keep that in mind if you're using this and we'll see if other uh, companies do as well but there's a quick look at the widgets Hey everybody, it's Phil from Android Central, and if you want to help out the site and look good, go get the best damn Android t-shirt anywhere from shopandroid.com.